Welcome to the third and final tutorial showing you how to make a 3D model of a toy plane using SketchUp. In this session I'll show you how to personalize your toy plane design by using more SketchUp features such as the curve tool. Again, the main learning objective is to further advance your computer-aided design skills in SketchUp, but more specifically you'll learn how to align multiple components, how to edit your drawing after they've been made into a component and also how to render your model. This tutorial works best by watching through to the end then going back to the start and working through step by step. Okay, I've, uh, I've taken the design in this tutorial back a little bit. I've removed the features so we've just got the basic plane now without any of the kind of slopey chamfers that we added. And I've done that so that we can explore alternative sort of designs or alternative shapes. One thing we need to consider when we're doing this is that we're going to be making this in the workshop. We don't have all the facilities in the world and you need to think about your level of skill at this point. So if you make anything that's too complex uh, on this, really you should be doing that in the work when you get in the workshop, so coming up with the same design. So the point is, don't go doing anything that is particularly difficult. If you, if you add too many features on it, you just won't be able to achieve it. And then you won't have a design that matches up with your final product and that's no good. <clears throat> we'll start by, rather than adding chamfers, we'll add curves. So I'll show you how that works. Okay. And um, for this, we're gonna use, we could, well, we could use a couple of different tools, but let's try this one. It's the arc tool. And we are gonna use this here. So, we could create some reference points using the rectangle tool like we have in the past. But essentially, I'll just show you how this works. In this, you can create um, you create two points. And then all you have to do is you drag that out to a position, to a desired position. Now, note that it does lock into a couple of positions there. Tangent to edge. Basically, that just means that any further and you won't get a smooth curve because if we because if we zoom in so let's see let's get to that tangent to edge oh it's always also picking up on the midpoint let's just zoom out a bit there we go Let's try it here. There we go. So if I zoom in, if I go any further, see how that, if you focus on down here, this starts to come over the line. So there it's just right. Any further and that line actually overlaps. So you won't get a smooth transition from the straight line to the curve. So there we go. Now, what's wrong with this? Is this gonna work? What's going on here? It's not letting me do it. Well, that's because I didn't edit. I didn't go, I did it, I didn't edit the component. So now I've double clicked, and this time I will use this square because I'd prefer to have the rectangle tool, sorry because I prefer to have certain points that I'm going to stick to. And I'm going to do something like 40, 30. And then use my arc tool. Click, click and drag out. So it's not giving me any I'll go to about there. Okay, it wasn't giving me any signals about the tangent. There we go. And 
now I can go to the push pull tool and remove that bit. Now I haven't given this much thought, but you might notice, or you might have tried to do this yourself, where you've tried to delete these lines here. But if you try and delete those lines, it just deletes the panel. And that's because that line is like any, it's like it's an edge. You can, however, hide them. So you select the line, the selection tool, right click, and you can just hide any lines that you don't want to see. I could do it there as well. Right click and hide the line. So it's still there, you just it's just hidden. Right, let's try something similar for the back. Edit the component first, don't forget that. And let's do maybe 70 by 20, see what that looks like. Arc tool, select your two points and then drag that down. And I'll probably go see what we get. Any signs? No. Will it tell me if I get closer? No. But that's at 5 mil, so that seems fairly sensible. Push pull to get rid. And a razor tool. Okay. So I think that's looking quite nice. You are limited in SketchUp, especially with the free version. You can't do too much. Um, so don't try, don't try and push it further than it really want is able to go. You can, if you get when you get really good at it. I'm not amazing at it. I'm pretty good, but not amazing. And you have to do a lot of messing around to get this to get certain shapes. Okay. Now, what you could also do is you could mix up straight lines and curves. What I mean by that is you could do something like this. So let's select this one, and we will do. Um, let's do it from the back. This time, oh, what's going on there? That doesn't look right. No, selected the wrong line. Here we go. So this time I'm gonna alter the, the back of the wing slightly. Let's do 70, comma, 10. And use the line tool. Don't need this anymore. Push, pull. Drag that down. And what I can do is then put a bit of a curve here, a bit of a curve here, not much, but just really, I'm just being a little more subtle. So let's see. I'm just gonna pick these two points here. There we go. So I'll just click straight away there, push, pull, and get rid of that. And do the same on this side. Now, just thinking, one of the issues here seven will be that because I'm not properly measuring it out it'll be hard to replicate on the other side so that's something to consider there we go and I would do that on the other side too right so we've got a convex curve here and convex curves are quite easy to sand so you're gonna make this out of pine convex curves are very easy to sand if you do concave uh, curves though so if you do, and I'll just show you very quickly, if you do this type of thing, and if I was to cut out that section, that would be a concave curve, and it's harder to sand those shapes. Okay, so we're making out of wood, we're gonna sand it and get it to a really high finish. 
But if we make shapes that are difficult to sand, then we aren't. We're not going to achieve that high finish, or it's going to take us an extremely long time to get it done. So we don't. We want to try and avoid those if we can. Okay. Now, there is the option to paint some of your parts of the plane. So you could potentially, so this is the last thing we'll look at, you could potentially go with the majority, maybe of a, with a timber finish. But you might decide that you want to use some color. You want to paint some parts. Let's go for a nice red. And you might decide that you'd like to make the, the wings and the stabilizer red and that's that's an option okay so feel free to experiment a little bit there um, and try and find something that you like okay so we've looked at alternative shapes adding curves at changing some of the rendering and changing some of the coloring so have a go and uh, enjoy